Are you sick and tired of having to spend all of your time and information responding to customer questions in your business? Are you trying to hire somebody to save time for you, but it's just so expensive? And a lot of the times, even though they have the right information in front of them, they don't even answer the question right. Well, lucky for you, with Jotform AI agents, you're able to answer customer questions instantly in 24-7. Here at Jotform, we have a product called AI Agents, which are the future of customer service. You can deliver exceptional customer service in an instant by utilizing our product and installing it onto your website and anywhere else that you would like. As you can even see on this homepage, I am going to go to the bottom right of the screen here and you'll see that this is actually the Jotform AI agent that answers questions about Jotform AI agents. So say I want to learn more about AI agents that Jotform has, if I click on that, pre-prompt. The Jotform agent is designed to enhance data and provide real-time assistance through engaging personalized interactions. Here's some key features and benefits. Real-time assistance, scalability, data collection and validation, multi-channel support, and a bunch of other options. So as you can see here, I not only have the ability to interact with it via text, but also there's this little call option, or should I say voice option? Hi, I just want to learn a little bit more about Jotform AI agents and what you can do. Hello, I'm Jotform AI agent, your friendly AI assistant. Call How option. can I help you today? Or should I say voice option? Hi, I just want to learn a little bit more about Jotform AI agents and what you can do. Jotform AI agents provide real-time assistance. Oh my goodness. Enhance customer satisfaction. Uh -huh. Could you please specify what aspect of Jotform AI agents you're most interested in? This will help me provide you with the most relevant information. I'm glad you found it helpful. If you have any more questions about Jotform AI agents or anything else, feel free to ask. How are they good for customer service? Yes. Jotform AI agents are excellent for uh -huh. customer service as they provide real-time assistance, enhance customer engagement, and ensure 24-7 yep. availability, leading to improved satisfaction. They can also automate responses and streamline support processes effectively. Interesting. Would you like to explore specific use cases? I would love to explore a specific use case. So it's going to and think a about a specific use, use case for Jotform AI agents and customer service is their ability to provide real time assistance during the form filling process. Nice. They can engage users by answering questions, guiding them through the form and ensuring a seamless experience, which ultimately nice. enhances customer satisfaction and reduces response times. Would you like to know more about how to implement this? Now I'm all good. Thank you. You're welcome. If you have more questions in the future, feel free to reach out. Have a great day. Oh my goodness, it told me to have a great day. That's so weird. Okay, so if I end the call, I can see if I go back to the chat, it actually showcases the previous questions I had written through, which is nice. And I can always uh, just audio ask questions of it. And there are suggested questions here on the bottom left too. So it's all AI super powered. I really like this. And I'm going to show you exactly how to set up one of these for your own website today. There's actually a customer support agent right there, but I'm just going to click on this preview right here. And you'll see this is a customer support AI agent. Gives you a brief overview of everything it can do. And then I'm going to use the agent. Now, after going through and using the agent, what I can do is change the avatar to anything I'd like. So for example, if I want to change it to this view right here, I can change the style to a different color scheme. I'll go a little bit more blue here. And then in the train section, I could say, mark the customer support specialist. And as you can see in this AI persona, this is kind of what the agent is like. We have the title of it being a customer support AI agent. We want it to be chatty to the point of short responses, not anything too long. And there are baseline instructions that come with these templates. You have your main goal, which is to assist users in completing forms, engaging users in a friendly and conversational manner, and some other instructions that inform how the AI agent talks and acts, as well as their default language too, in the style of casual, friendly, or professional. Now, under the knowledge base, this is what's going to be really important for customer service. I want you to go through and think about all of the different knowledge that you have about your service or your products and make sure that you train this product in a way that makes sense. So for example, I make content. I have a content services website that I want to add here. So if I go to this here, I want to have it crawl this ricebrook.com content services page so that I can ask it questions to show you how necessarily this works. So as you can see, it's training. It's asking to get more information. I can have it crawl all of those. That's fine. And you'll see that the agent is navigating through the URLs. That's fine. But all of these different bits of knowledge are some 
predefined questions and answers that's on there, but you can also add documents and general text blocks inside it too. Like for example, all of these agents have like a baseline level of knowledge about the company. And then you'll get a notification when the content services page in this case is done. And just a note, you can always delete any knowledge right here. But when it comes to actions, because of the fact that agents are taking action more than like general chatbots, it is important to know that this is some if then logic you can add to your agent. So when a user sentiment is a specific way, like it's positive or negative, you can always do something following that. So you can show a button, you can say an exact message, you can have it send an API request. You can have a trigger of workflow with a new form and a bunch of other options here. The reason for this is that there's going to be a lot of different use cases that you might have when someone would have a conversation with you about this. And it's just really important that you follow through on that workflow easily. And rather than needing to delegate it to a person, you can actually just have it perform the action yourself. I think the API request is the most interesting one because you can essentially send through a bunch of different headers of the different information to an automation and then it will run itself. Now, another set of great things here is the tools. It can send messages via Slack. Say for example, when you got negative customer support, you can set an appointment on a calendar if this is for booking, whether it's in Google Calendar or just generally. And it can do a bunch of these other things here and we're looking to add more tools in the future. So suggest one if you have any interest. And like we talked about earlier, there are a bunch of forms here that it could connect to. By default, it does connect to some of them, but if you want to connect it to a new one, make sure to go here and find the one that makes sense for you. Now, I'm gonna test this out by going to publish. And what you can see here is I can either add this to a new tab, so just literally having it as a page, or I can take this and embed it on my website as a chatbot, which is really great for customer service. And if I wanna preview the chatbot, I can. So as you can see here, just open this up. I wanna provide feedback, for example, and there's a form that pops up. Or I can ask a question like, what type of services do you provide? As you can see here, it says that Rise Productive provides a range of content services, including video editing, thumbnail editing, and social media management. They focus on creating engaging content tailored to enhance brand messaging and growth. And that's based off of the website Right here. Now, that is really cool. I was able to add a link, tweak the knowledge, and then get my answers here. Now, imagine if you are a customer that rather than having to always send me a website, you know, direct email or something like that by going to my support email, they can just interact with the bot and then I can see the results of these interactions on my back end. I think this is the best way to go. If you're an e-com, if you're in content, if you're in services, all of these things are just perfect in my opinion. So if you do have any interest in trying this out, not only in the chatbot form, but just as a page embed, or even better, buying a phone number, which then someone can call as customer support phone number, I would really recommend trying that out because it's brand new type of stuff right now. There's there's really nobody doing this that has all of these capabilities, especially with the forms that we have. With that being said, I hope you try out JotForm for your customer service today. Thank you so much for watching. Try our AI agents today, and we'll see you in the next one.